welcome back to the conversation that never ends. This is Timeless Talk. I am your host, AJ. And as always, to my right, we got Slideshow. <laughs> Woo! Man, how long has it been? How Officially? long has it been? Two weeks? Two? No. <laughs> About three weeks. Maybe for them, it feels, for us, it's a lot shorter, though. Yeah. You know, for us, it is. For y'all, it probably feels long for y'all, but for us, it's a lot shorter. Yeah. But man, we back and we happy to be here with y'all. You know Season what I'm saying? Season two. Season two, y'all. Season two. I love it. I love that horn. I know some of y'all talk shit out there about me using the horn. I don't give a fuck. Get used to it. Golden horn. <laughs> you say go- golden horn? <laughs> it's the golden horn. If y'all don't play Mario Party, you won't understand that one. Y'all don't yeah, 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 get it. <laughs> anyway, we're happy to be back, y'all. I'll be hearing this on July 22nd, 2022. We're happy to be back with you guys with season two. We got a lot more planned for this year, so be here for it. I'm glad you guys are present. We appreciate y'all. And before we get into today's topics, I actually want to share with y'all some of the numbers that we got. Got some good stuff coming. Oh, yeah. Got a lot of new guests coming through, too. Mm-hmm. We gonna be stepping off some toes this season. Oh yeah, no, no, that's for sure. But anyway, we got we want to go forward with the episode as far as you know topics. I want to go over with you guys the numbers. Um, we're gonna go over stats before we move forward on the episode. And the good news is we actually already on our actual bus product account that spreads it across the board, which is you know um, Spotify, all all the all the directories that you guys listen to us on. We reached over five hundred and fifty downloads, y'all. So you know what, man? Honestly, kudos to you guys and appreciate y'all. Major for, accomplishment. For what we've, you know, you've helped us reach to at this point. That's just the start of it all. You know what I'm saying? So we, we thank y'all for, um, for, for, for fucking with us, listening to us, you know, giving us your, your ears and loaning us your eyeballs <laughs> to watch every week too, man. And uh, our numbers are, stri- are actually starting to get up on YouTube as well. But for now, right now... Um, no, but audio wise, we're killing the game and I appreciate you guys. And I don't want to sound ungrateful when I say this, but please for the YouTube, for the visuals, for us taking the time to do all this for y'all mm-hmm. subscribe, like, you know what I'm saying? The views are going up. I'm, I'm okay with the views that they're steadily climbing, but in more subscriptions guys and likes, please, 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 you know, like comment and subscribe. I don't want to sound like one of them YouTubers or sound like a broken record and shit, but that's what <laughs> we need you to do for YouTube, man, because we killing the game audio wise, 550 plus downloads and, and coming and going. Yeah. So we're, we're thankful for all our listeners. Thank y'all for doing that. As far as people that watch us, you know what I'm saying? We, we need to step it up a little bit, but we're, we're, we're thankful regardless. And we're getting subscriptions steadily as well. So we're just, we're hanging in there and we appreciate y'all for, for everything that you know, you've gotten crazy, us bro. to. What's you know, up? Crazy. Like, the fact that, and I'm even amazed by it, the That's fact that, like, you know, just to record a one and a half hour show or two hour show, you know how much time we usually spend in the evening just setting up for that? I know. That's another thing. Probably more time than we should, which thinks, <laughs> I, I mean, it's like, man, you know, but I know me and Slash should don't mind personally yeah. because we enjoy each other's company. Yeah, no, we we thankful though, man. Y'all are helping me, you know, we actually got... Three new subscribers, actually, since the last time I checked on you on YouTube. So y'all are really listening. You know what I'm saying? So we appreciate you guys for that. Thank start. you. Thank it's you. a start. It's a we'll start. take it. We'll take it. So as far as today's uh, topics, I'm actually going to do something a little different for uh, season two, episode one. I'm going to go ahead and let Slideshow tell y'all what we're getting into today. Go ahead, Slideshow. What we got for him today? As he reaches for his notes. <laughs> it's all good, bro. He well, didn't expect that one, huh? Go ahead. Nah, that was a little off guard, but all right. So basically, we'll be talking about the realities of becoming an adult. Um, One of those categories is going to be what we expected it to be like, I'm assuming, like after graduation. Yeah, because basically how you're going from no responsibilities to every responsibility. Balls deep. (laughs) Balls deep, bro. (laughs) 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 <laughs> but yeah, we're going, we're going to talk about that. So basically to reiterate kind of what he was saying, more of a bullet bullet point Terry way to say it. We're going to be talking about the realities of becoming a, an adult, the expectations versus the reality, which is kind of re- retouching on what Slideshow just said, of what that is and what it becomes, responsibilities and pleasures, mm-hmm. how to separate and prioritize the two, because mm-hmm. You get both whether you want them or not. Responsibilities and pleasure, yeah. That, that, For sure. You get both whether you want them or not. And then last but not least, how to balance them mm-hmm. and how to cope with them. That's what we're going to talk about today. Yeah. 
So I'm going to get us started. I'm going to ask Slideshow. I'm going to get us started by asking Slideshow his experiences before I give you guys mine. So Slideshow, when you became an adult, from a child to an adult, how did, how did it hit you? Re- the reality of it. How did the reality of that hit you? Did you feel like, fuck, now I can't really... I thought it was going to be fun like when I started driving and doing shit, but then all the stuff that comes with it, man, is just shock value. Man, bro, honestly, man, I, I, I honestly didn't know what to expect. I'm going to start with graduation. Okay. Um, so I graduated. I graduated on the 31st of May, and then I picked up my diploma on my birthday, right? Mm. At that point, man, that completely did not feel real. Like, I felt like the old life had ended and the new one began. Like, as soon as you grabbed the diploma yeah. on stage? Yeah, because I'm like, man, I don't got to see it again. Because I, I graduated from Pete Knight, bro. I did not want to see that place again. Oh, uh, yeah, no, no. I feel you on that one. I that, That's where I graduated oh, from. Oh, you too. did too? Yeah. Oh, snap. See? It's Pete Knight alumni, bro. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. But, um, bro, honestly, bro, I thought, I thought once I graduated, it was going to be like women, parties. Video games, like no type of responsibility. I still had that like child mind, thought, mindset going. Yeah, but oh, man. it's crazy how if you have the wrong job too, it can feel like how it felt when you were forced to go to school every day. Yeah, what that felt like. You, yeah, <laughs> you forced to go to a place still. <laughs> I mean, you're not forced, but you know that if you don't go, you ain't gonna be able to keep the lights on. No, you know what's hard, bro. <laughs> I think it's I think it's knowing even when you go for all them hours. Unless you're in a career and they're most likely not at this point, you still yeah. don't even have enough money going. Damn. So of course anybody would be miserable. Right? Yeah. No. No. That's true. And that's the. That's <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's like that at first because you do live with your. Most of us still live with our parents, fresh out of high school. We're not gone just yet. Yeah. Maybe that's why you can feel like you could you can lounge around like that for a while uh-huh. before you jump into a career or you start college, whichever one's first. Yeah. But would you agree? Like that's the misinterpretation or misunderstanding that. Oh yeah. A lot of us tend to fuck up and forget, right? Is that that's really the case. Yeah. You may be able to lounge around in your underwear and shit and chill until... For a little bit. For a little bit. first semester start. <laughs> that's if you're going to start college right away. Some some people that I even knew when I graduated in 2010, they lingered around. Matter of fact, before we go forward, shout out to all the alumni and everybody that, you know, graduated from my high school. Let's hear it for y'all. Yeah. Yeah. You said fuck that place. And the GEDs too. <laughs> and the what? GEDs And the GETs You know what In the GEDs you know, If you didn't graduate on time That's okay too We got love for y'all as well Yeah shout out to you guys But I don't know um, Man I just You know I kind of felt like Responsibilities Were never going to kick in I don't I honestly don't know What I thought was going to come next You didn't know I know Did you have a plan at all Did you think of an idea Before you Bro See cause look You know You know You know I got sent to Belize Ninth and 10th grade yeah, they talk about that episode one, season one. Mm-hmm. So I, I basically spent 11th and 12th focused on trying to catch those credits up because nothing that, when I came back, none of those counted. So I, so I had a, thank they God. Didn't, I, they didn't even have a record of it, huh? No, 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 no. They, said, they said, oh, yeah, that, those going to come in. But they, they had me hoping, though. They were like, oh, we're still trying to work it out and uh, see how much credits these these accumulate to. But in the end, it didn't, it didn't count for nothing. So as, I had, if, as if they were actually going to get. Like the school from Belize to send you the records to the states. That's what they were trying to do, but okay. they, they were saying they didn't accumulate for nothing. So that's some bullshit. I had one class. My time accumulates for something. Man, come on. <laughs> I, I had one you know? class as a as a uh, as a senior. That one class was kind of like a makeup credits class. Yeah. And I was like, thank God for that. Bro, I was slanging them credits up in there, man. I I had crazy thing is I had both the teachers in there doing some too. <laughs> With your credits? Yeah. How did you do that? You had them doing your your yeah. I'm like, come on, there's work to be done. What you mean? And then they were like, I think on the last day, what were they getting? In re- what, are they, what were they getting in return? Nothing. Oh, you were just come do this shit for me. One less black dude. They got to worry about staying at the school another year. <laughs> they were trying to help get you out of there. <laughs> <laughs> so that's fucked up. Man, there's racism everywhere. Don't matter where you are in this in this world, man. Nah, this country, I, state, don't matter. Take it how you will. As long as I get up out of here, but. That's what look at it. The last week she told me, bro, because I was still like 20, 20 credits away from being at the goal. I was she was there. I forgot what the deal was. She was just like, if you just sit there and shut up, I'll give you twenty credits. I was like, huh? She told you, bruh, <laughs> bro. Guess what I did? I would have sat there and then, fuck it. I sat right there and kept my ass quiet. What you mean? <laughs> I walked. I, I mean, I'm not mad at you, bro. I would have done the same thing. How old were you when this happened? 
I was oh I was eighteen. Eighteen years old. See, that's what I'm saying. You eighteen, you don't care, bro. You just you trying to get the fuck out of there. That's what I always had the same mentality. But I was when you too were focused. The whole moral of that story. I was too focused on that to actually like have oh, plans for what your future is going to be. Yeah. yeah. No, no, that makes sense. You know, you wanted to be at least more together. Yeah. Have an idea where you were headed. Yeah. At least make at least it what there. direction. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 I feel it. Wait, then yeah. I was gonna stay there another year, bro. I don't know. <laughs> That'd have been. Oh, that's the super senior. <laughs> he said super senior yeah, Bro <laughs> You don't want to be that shit Hell no nah. You graduated at 19 Come on Hey I knew a few cats like that The fucking super senior Shout out to you guys too Sorry No disrespect I I, Yeah no disrespect to the super seniors I can't I can't um, put the laugh back for that bit, But we were laugh. I did already did But I can't put the laugh For too <laughs> long back. As then I feel you, bad You wanna put it back And I mean As far as the transition in the reality hit you mm. when did it actually like set in that you know you needed to do this, to do something man i would say and then i'll go on after you i would say for me it was when i think it was when <clears throat> i started college and then started working at the same time in la because just having a transition to like work like school I don't know, because I would drive up there with my mom, but then I had to start waking up earlier. And then after school, I'd have to have hop on a train and the bus to get over to work. Man. And, man, I would see and a this lot. this was your of, first job out of high school? Nah, well, because I, I, did, I, I did CBS for a little bit. Those were That was through the little work program from uh, Pete Knight, <laughs> though. But, nah, I start seeing people getting their ass whooped on the bus and train. I had to, I had That's to when it got little, real, yeah. huh? That's the... <laughs> That's when it got real for slideshow. Man. <laughs> yeah, nah. And Sarah, bro, like I said, <clears throat> working and realize even though you're working this hard and you're only making chump change, you like, damn, it's not all about video games it's, no more. Hell no. Nah. And you then you for sure that. ain't got no women broke. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't about that either. So. Did, that, that's true. No, no, you're right. It's not about that. So that's, that's when you would say it hit you, right? Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. I labeled it as... The biggest, I don't want to say the biggest disappointment, but the biggest slap in the face, I would say, was realizing how backwards life was built. Like, for example, like the first half in your youth, you're basically at school till you're an adult. Yeah. And then once you become an adult, you have to work until you're old and then enjoy your retirement with all the money. Damn. Yeah. So... Damn, that's so true. That's the reality behind it. So you're basically saying that it sucks to come. Damn, that's the big. That's a good one, bro. I was actually. Right. You took that. Dang, I was. I was actually on one of my notes. I was gonna yeah. say that. Yeah, that's that's some real shit. Exchange age for money, huh? Yeah, bro. Because if you think about it, there's two. There's, there's, there's another thing I'm gonna add to that too. Um, that was your last point, yeah, right? Yeah, for that. Yeah. So before I go on to my my response to that question, to my question from the beginning of that slideshow, is that he's so right. We spend all of our life in. In school until we're able to graduate, right? But really, all you're graduating to is the next level, which is normal. Right? You're graduating to life now. Yep. So now you got to test whatever it is that you learned in high school, at least the useful parts anyway of it anyway. And I, with you to a job, really, I don't. I never will understand algebra. I don't really even use that shit at all in my day in life. Like I don't I'm use on. it. It was a pointless fucking math class. But that's just me personally <laughs> feeling that way. But um, not you. You know, you take the some skills that you learn the basic skills anyway. You know how to count to ten. Yeah. <laughs> how to count, how to multiply, how to subtract, how to divide. I feel like that's the only useful math you actually take. Yeah. English language, learning, reading. And reading is very important, obviously. You do that every day. Well, at least I do. I know I know the slideshow does. He's got his Bible over there. Come on. Shout out to Slideshow for that. You know what I'm saying? You know? Shout out to Jesus. Amen. Hey, you, got, you can never be, be, you can never read enough, is what I was trying to say. You can never read enough. So, but anyway, back to what I was saying. So you leave high school with those those with those things, right? In the hopes that when you graduate to the next level, you'll be great, you'll be happy, you know, I'm free now. Then you realize, damn, if you don't make the right moves, you'll end up at a job that makes you miserable. Man. And some people just stay there because it's enough to pay the bills, right? To have them survive until they retire. And then what? You're supposed to go actually live a life when you're 67? What kind of shit is that? What's is that, that called? Just enough? Just enough just to enough. get by. And then uh, what? Hopefully you have enough in your retirement or hopefully you were smart enough to save enough to go travel the world now? Mm -mm. Bruh, there are all kinds of problems with what I just said right now. So what did I want to add to what Slideshow said? Not only is what he said true, also going to be one of my, my answers. Part of my answer too to the question was what he just said. 
I feel like you can either do what I just said or you can find a way to break the mold. Yep. Which in in a way, Timeless Talk is one of those ways to break the mold. Timeless Empire mm, yeah. is one of the ways to try to break the mold. That's going to come soon, you guys. I'm shooting for fall still, clothing line. But those are my uh, those are my ways, and this one, Slideshow is a part of it as well, Timeless Talk, are ways to try to break the mold because neither one of us love a nine to five. I'm going to keep it real. Entrepreneurship, Fuck that. huh? Entrepreneurship, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not <laughs> trying to toot our own horns here. <laughs> but you get the point like i'm not trying to do that i'm just trying to show y'all that this is a form of something else you can do to try to break out of that yep. you don't want that for your reality i'm sure my my, my co-host here agrees because that's no way to live man you a slave because we've we've known we've known people from the job that we currently have but also the jobs that we've had in the past i've met cats and individuals and i could just disclose it now one of my past jobs now my current one i used to work as a um what was it a quick quick sidebar um, I was a what the fuck was that? I was a weekend teamer or a we teamer. The fucking weird ass fucking title is that. I was a we teamer at Lowe's. Okay, I worked. I used to work at Lowe's, and there were a lot of cats. I look around that break room whenever I take a lunch or whatever the case. Right back in the day, this is 2012, by the way, to give y'all give y'all a fucking timestamp. I remember this one dude I, I spoke to in the break room during my lunch, and this kind of tags back into something we talked about back in episode three season one you all struck it off if you haven't heard it yet which is uncomfortable reality that was a good episode yeah once you agree slideshow so not to talk too much about it because we we actually delve into this a little bit more on that episode about not being comfortable right and being stuck oh, in a yeah. position you hate you know but to tag exactly but to tag yeah. back into what i kind of said on that episode i met an individual that was like oh, i've been here like 25 years man i'm almost done fuck that bro that's no way to live you know that that's a part of being comfortable that oh, i got enough to pay my bills though i hate this place but fuck it i'll just deal with it until i can retire no <laughs> fuck that this is a way to break the mold we're good so i wanted this to happen to what slideshow said and that would be my answer to that was one of my big slaps in the faces of reality of becoming an adult is that you got to do unfortunately sometimes you got to do things that you don't love either you get to make a choice You're either going to do things you don't love temporarily or forever uh, Until you retire That's yeah. your choice You you have the option To make that decision Right So I show I mean You can either Be a fucking uh, Go ahead Sorry You can either be a fucking slave To a job you hate Until you retire Or Find something that you love Whether you go to school To be a doctor If that's what you want to do Or you want to be You know what our boy Bunzai <laughs> Bruce <laughs> But Batman did Batman. He went in And he's doing something He loves now But because he decided To break the mold Yeah It may not be this But he's doing something else That he enjoys very much so kudos to him. You know, shout out to him as well. People just got to understand that. Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. But, you know, you, people got to understand that that's what you do to break the mold. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, to bring up one last thing I was going to say, because I know you want to say something I could tell. Hold that thought, okay? <laughs> yeah. But it, the last thing I was going to say was, you know, shout out to EQ too, because he's trying to break the mold now too. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So a yeah. shout out to, to our boy, because he's trying to do the same thing. He also is not happy what he's doing for eight hours a day. Or sometimes 12 or whatever the case. So he's trying to break the mold as well. So shout out to our former co-host as well. Just give him some love. I think he has a fight coming up with... Uh, what's that one YouTuber dude that be knocking everybody out? Fucking Logan Paul? Yeah, he got a fight. Yo, you're going to fight Logan? I didn't know that. When did he tell you this? <laughs> I'm actually in there. I'm setting it up with his brother right now. Oh, you can't really give too much information away than just... Oh, that, right? okay. Yeah, yeah. You got to hold that back a little bit then, right? Yeah, okay. We'll let y'all know more details about the Logan Paul EQ fight later as we yeah. get more information on it. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, but I had a sidebar. Uh, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, please. That's bro, what you've been holding he, back. Go ahead. Yeah. When you had told your story, bro, it had, it had reminded me. I went through the same thing. But it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't an old person. It was somebody... Like at an old job? 30s or 40s. It was at Vallarta, bro. <laughs> <laughs> fucking like <aren't> <laughs> no, 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 like not like it's disrespectful, they but got, just you know, <laughs> they got good drinks. Though. They yeah. do. They got the good hey, drinks. Shout I out. will say that that place may may give may have given our former co-host headaches when he walked in there, but it was. I mean, bad. I went with him. I actually tried before one of these recordings. I think it was before the Fourth of July recording. I went with slideshow to uh, Vallarta. He accused him like, "Fuck, you guys went in there." <laughs> <laughs> Here's this and sees this. Why did headache. y'all go in there? Bro, did y'all bust out in headaches? You know what, EQ? Because you're going to que- ask the question, we'll just answer it here. I didn't get a headache, did you? No. We really didn't get headaches. I don't know. And I was working there for seven months. Hey, there you go. I caught COVID, though. He did catch COVID. We went Anyway, besides the point, we'll get back to your <laughs> sidebar. The drinks are good in there. Oh, yeah? We, I went with Slideshow before the 4th of July recording, and it was good. Yeah. I liked what I tried. A little refreshment. Absolutely. I guess. I don't, 
I don't know. People, people over there be lingering for like you said, like years, right? Yeah, and more longer than they even want to be there. I was talking to somebody, man. I, I think we was talking about like, oh, uh, how long are you gonna be here, bro? By the way, me as security, bro. I was getting. I think I, I think I was getting paid more than everybody else. Shh, I, I believe it. I think this the we we. I think we still kind of do to a point, depending on where you do security now, or sorry, where you do security now. No, no, no. I mean security while working at Viarta. I made the most. Oh, I made more than did. everybody. Yeah. Damn. And I was only making oh, fifteen dollars. Oh shit! Bad at the time, right? Yeah. That no, was a I lot know. back in what year? What year was this? The new job you got now. So it was a year. What year did you come to the new place? Where we're at, where we're I at came. Now? My official hire date was the twenty fourth of April. Not yet. Last, last year. year. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Damn. And a year Bro. later, you're on the podcast. The, they said the store manager make like fourteen. I was making fifteen an hour. I'm like, you mean what? They walk in I around they here salary, looking like though. the principal. Yeah, and I thought that, I thought he was. I thought the store managers were the were the. Don't they pay with salary? I don't know. Oh, Viarta, y'all sideways for that one, man. I mean, when I worked at Superior, they're oh, they're sworn enemies. I could have sworn our managers got salary. I mean, hey, because everybody's no. different. No, no, no. So, so, so I was speaking to I was speaking to somebody that was the cashier that moved up to manager position, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, that's hard. I'm like, yeah. So you got a little, you got a little raise <laughs> going there. <laughs> and she was like, no, nah, I still get, I still get paid like. Thirteen dollars, but I'm but I'm a manager. So, bro, you're a loser. <laughs> loser. Yeah, bro. no, no, that's nothing to be really proud of. Bro. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, damn, like, and then like, I, I even back then, standards. Those stores, I, I see all of them still there, and I'm like, and they were proud to tell you that. I'm like, damn, bro. And that was your man. That was your kind of real. I'm like, you gotta, you gotta want more, right? I see yeah. all these people from all these places, and I'm we're, like, y'all don't want more. I'm learning that that's ambition is not a thing for everybody, brother. I'm learning that not everybody has ambition, and but I feel like it's okay because you do need some of those people to drive your businesses. Like for instance, like I'll give you an example. I'm not saying that I want people that are not that are undriven to work for me when, I, when my clothing line grows to the point where, because I think for the most part I'm gonna be online. But if and when I ever open a store and I have employees working at my clothing store. You need people like that. I hate to say yeah. it. And there's nothing wrong with that. We need people like that every day for different reasons. But I feel like I want you need individuals to run your business for you. That's why there's two types of individuals on this planet. Would you agree with this slideshow? The first individual is the person that's the go-getter. Mm-hmm. And then the second individual is the person that's the worker bee. I guess you could call them that. That's kind of weird. Just, I, I had different titles in mind when I was thinking of it right now before I said it. But in short, a better way to put that would be you're either going to create your own dream or you're going to help someone else create theirs. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's just the reality of it, guys. And either you're going to help them create their dream, or if they're already achieved their dream, like if I open a store, right, and I need to hire people, you're just going to help me maintain my dream. You so know, that's, just, say, that's just the reality of it, right? You know, they say the hospital we work at, um, they said it took eight people to start to start that whole hospital. Eight? Now, Damn. Eight, yeah, eight well, they, they grew. They grew funded, for sure. Yeah. And then now you got all the nurses, all the doctors, all the Damn. security. I didn't know all that. Yeah. That's crazy. Eight mm-hmm. people, huh? Eight people, yeah. They eight individuals, eight. man. Most of them, shit, one of them was conducting surgery. Hey, man, we got a board meeting. We got to wait, dog. I got open heart right now. Man, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, that's but that's, 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 that's impressive, though. Shout out to those who those eight individuals that were able to start a hospital from scratch. That's pretty good, man. I got, I got my respect. That's dope. But, you know, not to kind of get back to what we were talking about now, um, I feel like that's, that's exactly the point. Um, that was the biggest one for me. To kind of go and coin off what he was saying, video games and all that. I'm a big gamer, man. Anybody that knows me before I even discovered a woman, <laughs> all I cared about, all I, you know, what I'm saying, all I cared about was video games, man. Before I, I was was more attracted to anything else. All I cared about before I cared about women like that was video games and sports. That's it. So when I first, obviously, when I was graduating high school, I had a girlfriend at the time. I dated her for a little bit of the summertime, and then I just broke it off with her, man. Yeah, oh. you know. She knows who she is. If she ever hears this, she'll be like, yeah, yeah, whatever. whatever. Anyway, uh, I did. Keep I, listening, though. So the interest, <laughs> please keep listening to the, <laughs> to the show, though. There was a, I, I, I mean, I, I still invested in time with her, whatever. But when I, when I really broke it off with her and I was single again, I was, I was that guy just chilling, playing video games. Didn't have a worry in the world, man. I kind of had a plan that I wanted to do, but not really. I knew because I had a love of graphic design ever since high school, bro. So I already knew I wanted to do something with that. I, I always looked at it as you're set anyway. You'll probably end up working for a graphic design firm. You're good. Like you don't got to really worry about it too much. You'll figure something out eventually. That's yeah. kind of my plan. Not really having a plan, but just knowing that I had an interest, a love for graphic design. 
and I know that there to this day is still a demand for it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So everybody uses it in some form. But one thing I fucked up with is that I probably should have gone to school sooner so I could get a, get my degree sooner and have yeah. that option on the table a lot, lot sooner. I'm barely going to finish it now, believe it or not. So school is something that I did like a year of it maybe. Mm-hmm. And so maybe I actually I have a year and a half left because I didn't even finish. I should have finished, man. I would have had my degree and would have had the option on the table and I probably wouldn't be working where I'm at now. But you know what? Everything happens for a reason because I met my boy here. Yes, sir. And God is good. So Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But anyway, getting back because I don't want to get too sidetracked. But um, we, we were realizing that my reality hit when, you know, my dad was just like, okay, son, you got to do something. You know, you got to go, okay, he's right. I got to get a job. First job was at Magic Mountain. <laughs> not a job, not a career choice. But it's funny because when you're in the orientation over there, and no, no, no shade on Magic Mountain workers or any of that. They're talking about, I had some lady in there like, welcome to the team, guys. All jittery and jail. <laughs> you know, like, welcome. You're at Magic Mountain. Yeah. You know, so, and she's like, I made a career out of this. I'm like, all right. You sound like you made a career out of this. Man. Or you used to work for Disney and they fired your ass. So that's why you're here now. No, but all jokes aside, man, it, um, they were talking about it like, you know, this could be your career. And that lady, you know, if she's still there, you're good for her. She made it into her career. I don't know what she started out as. I think she was a food person or something or a games person. She started off in games and now you're training people that are coming in. I'm not trying to shit on nobody. I just don't, I don't see that. From, and she's like, I've been here 12 years and that you're barely going to be teaching new recruits. Like, I, I'm sorry. It's just the way, <laughs> the way I'm not, if anybody, anybody watching or listening to this out there that has a dream of working Imagine at Magic Mountain, watching, bro. <laughs> like fuck that guy. <laughs> I remember that fucking asshole in my Bad orientation review. class. Bad review. Man, that orientation class was from like 2010, 2011, I believe. It was right before I started working for Superior Grocers, man. I worked there for like a summer. I think it was 2010. I worked at Magic Mountain for about like four or five months. I think it was six months. I bumped heads with a couple cats that I worked at. Those are the stories for others. I do want later on in the season, we'll have an episode where we talk about past jobs and bad experiences at those jobs, but that's, that's a whole different episode. We'll get into that some other time. But anyway, the reality of becoming an adult was bills. Um, it was easier living with my parents at first. So I didn't really have pressure at first, kind of like what we talked about mentioning. You know, you don't have, you have responsibilities, but not to the point that they're at now. Yep. For me and for Slideshow now. Yep. Um, but you didn't I have a kid back then, huh? No, hell no. Yeah. Back oh, yeah. then, I didn't have what I have now. I have a, have a daughter now and I have a girlfriend now. I didn't have you. I, I, had, have, I, had, I had a girlfriend. I had girlfriends in the past, obviously, linear throughout time, but. Leading up to my graduation, I had a girlfriend, broke up with her, and I had nothing at that point. Didn't have, didn't have the girl I have now. Didn't have my daughter that I have now. Didn't have way less response. I just did whatever I wanted, really, because I had rent, but it was a joke. It no wasn't really a rent. Feed, huh? No mouths to feed, but my own. That's really what it boiled down to. And, I, and the only other time I had another mouth to feed was when I was on a date with a girl or right. whatever. The, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. it. So even then, reality probably didn't really hit me until I got a car. And then when I bought my car, it was like, okay, now you got to pay for car insurance. You got to pay for gas. You got to pay for this. You got to pay for that. I'm like, fuck, my money goes everywhere now. Everybody takes my money. You know what I'm saying? So those are my realities, bro. I'm like, fuck, man. And you're already making chump change. Yep, exactly. And and when you realize that, you end up having more obligations. That might just be bad budgeting on my part, but... Prioritizing. As a kid, yeah. not Me not prioritizing my bills right or not spending money on the right things or spending money on shit I didn't need or not really putting money aside from my bills the way uh-huh. I should have, which bills that I created like debt, you know, having a credit card and buying this computer, which by the way, shout out to Apple for that. Cause I've had this, this bitch right here since yeah. 2012, son. You oh, know, yeah. bro, I thought that I thought one of, and like everything you're saying right now, it's a part of like responsibility and adulting, which is the main topic, but, and this kind of trickles into our next one, which is the expectations versus the reality of what it is to become an adult. Yeah. I was saying like what you were just saying just now, that's another part. Like <clears throat> I feel like, that period right there, like just graduating, getting a job, getting a car. Yeah. That's I feel like that was like a very easy point in life to like become a very selfish person. It was. You because know? all you had like, was you. And you only had a little bit of money and all this, you know. For you, yeah, because your parents were gonna take it all. They knew, ah, oh, you're a kid, you're starting now. You can't pay the actual rent. Yeah. <laughs> you can help out a little bit with rent, which is what I did, but ten dollars. <laughs> More than that. But it wasn't like it wasn't enough to break my wallet like Rent feels like for me now. I'm not gonna disclose what I pay now, but it's a hell of a lot more than what I pay when I live with my parents. Yeah, yeah I live in Cali sure. too. They know what it is. They know what it is. Anybody yeah. lives in California yeah. where we live, man, you'll know. It might be time to get out of the state soon. 
And I might take slideshow with me. I don't know. I'll put them in my suitcase. We, oh, man. Come <laughs> find, on. A, find a place from the list to get out there. We keep the show going. As long as we're going to Florida. Hey, you know, I'm glad you're on the same page as me. We might end up yeah, in fucking Florida, Florida cool, man. Be yeah. a Floridian. I'm cool with Florida. I'm glad yeah. he likes that because that's actually what I was leaning towards. I just like the water. Florida. The water nice, too. Yeah, the water is cool. Yeah, the water is nice. And my girl told me she's cool with that, too. So. Oh, yeah? Florida? She likes Florida. Yeah, bro. So we'd be, yeah. we'd be good, man. Our next question for you. Did your expect- How were your expectations of what we literally just discussed? Your, ex- your expectations versus the reality of what that is, becoming an adult. Did your expectations get met or were they or did the reality of it was it was the reality different from your expectations so i had so there was my expectations in my left hand and then in my right hand was reality this is what you're gonna get yes yeah. <laughs> like, yeah man <laughs> honestly man like i can't lie bro in high school when there was like no type of response like zilch zilch, no yeah, zilch nothing man yeah. look the only responsibility there was in high school was to make sure like you turn in that homework five minutes before she about to collect it right now, but then it's real. But then um, on the other hand, reality, I'm thinking like, oh, I want life to go this way, but it shifted in a harder direction and path. But I'm happy it did because like it helped you build character, and that's what I meant. That's what I meant earlier when I said like you know like life is built backwards. You got to go through hard time to become like a strong adult. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, that's right? true. No, no, that's true. And you got to go broke sometimes. You got to kind of build that your credit card. You yeah. got to go negative in the Chase app. Yeah. And know it, and you and you find out what a fucking uh, overage fee is. You know what overage fee is? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one when it go negative, right? Yeah, bro. So when it, when you when you leave your account negative, right? We've all been there at some point. I have no shame to be honest. We, overage charge. fees were the worst mm-hmm. because if your account went negative, the bank would slam a thirty five dollar fee. Oh, Usually it's thirty fifty. For you was fifty. Fuck, Chase it's it worse. 50. Yeah. Damn, fifty is worse. Damn, bro, they're they're a little. Chase is a little more ruthless than Wells Fargo and uh, Bank of America it's and for the rich and wealthy. Yeah, no kidding. Because I mean, even even the uh, credit unions, which was what, what I use now, they they charge an overage fee that's maybe twenty bucks at that. So oh, they're funny. a little gracious. So Everybody yeah, else, they, that's not bad. Bro, I remember yeah. Wells Fargo. I had Wells. I've had everything. Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank of America. I move my money around. But when I've had other banks and that's happened to me in the past, I remember I used to have U.S. Bank too at one point. Mm. They were ruthless, bro. I didn't give a fuck. Negative two dollars, negative a dollar. They said, "I take that." Boom. I take that. Yeah. I'll take that. Now you owe negative forty dollars. What the fuck? Oh yeah, I was negative ten. So now they just attack on. <laughs> I already don't 25, have thirty to that. You know, yeah. bro. You know what, man? I, coming just from a lot of experiences, bro. Just like. Knowing that you need gas, like I said, like that college, and you know, yeah, knowing that you need gas, and you check your account and you only have like five dollars left, and you're like, okay, that could get me home, <laughs> bro. That helps build character, bro. Hell Believe yeah, it does. Not. No, Believe it molds it you. It, it kind of shows you. It teaches you to respect money a little bit more too. Man. I was terrified. Like, I wasn't gonna make just... it home, bro. <laughs> I was terrified. I've been there, and you're like, man, if I didn't have this, if I didn't even have the ten or fifteen just sitting in my account, I'd be man. fucked right now. And you was about to use that for lunch, but you like, yeah, you got to check your You were about first. to. <laughs> Hell yeah, you were about to. You were about to do that shit, bro. And that's the crazy thing because you actually did that at one point. I remember there was actually, maybe you weren't this bad. You are probably a little more disciplined than me then. Nah. Because mm-hmm. I fucked up, bro. I remember one time I got to the point where my shit ran out of gas and my father had to drive out there with the gas tank to fill my shit. Not all the way, but just enough to get me to the pump. Teach my ass a lesson. Dang. And we stood there. Humbled. He's like, you don't got enough for the pump either? <laughs> Son, you got a fucking job, right? I'm like, oh, shit. And that, you know, I, I'm not mad at him for that. That was a left. That was a lesson that I needed to learn, man. You know, budget better, bro. It's just, that's another harsh reality of life. And that was an expectation. Well, it wasn't one of my expectations because for me, the expectation was, you know, oh, now I'm an adult. I have the freedom. I can handle all this. I'll be good. <laughs> man, did I know. Man, I misjudged that. Up call, yeah. Hell yeah, bro. So, But you know what I told him? What? I just said, Pops, I came out those nuts, so come out them pockets. <laughs> what the fuck? That's exactly what I would told him. That's good. I like that. I came out the nuts. Come on, Pops. You got to come out them solid. pockets, man. Come on. But to keep it real, he has, man. More more than he probably should have, bro. Back then, my Pops always had my back, man. More, a little more than he probably should have. And he would say, Son, it's my last time. Son, this is my last time. Son, this is my last time. Son, this is my last time. I was like, fuck, man. He said that so many times already. I'm like, fuck. Uh, yo, pops. 
just kept coming through, huh? Yeah, man. That's what I mean, though, bro. So yeah. you had to go through hard times like that. And bad choices. But I bet but I bet you eventually you never made those mistakes again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got to the point where I fucking finally learned. <laughs> I finally stopped. Like, fuck, you learned now? You smacked your head enough times, right? Man, you ever ran up them <laughs> credit cards, too? Oh, bro. This was the biggest debt I had for a while, man. Yeah? Uh, not too much. I mean, the biggest debt I have now is probably my car, which is almost paid off. Okay. But my car is probably- You gonna hold on to that, huh? Oh, yeah, until the wheels fall off. Come bro. on. I love my car. That's the thing. See, what, now that we've now we, now that that's been brought up, and I'm sure Slideshow can agree, if you're going to get a car, oh, excuse me, if you're going to get a car payment, this goes out to everybody out there who's listening to this and watching this right now, make sure you get something you enjoy. Because you there ain't nothing worse than paying for a car note that you, for Man. a vehicle you don't even like driving. I've never been in that situation. Thank you, Jesus. Man. Thank you, God. I've never been in that situation because I made sure I told myself, if you ever get a car payment, that's why I always drove buckets, bro, so I got something I actually liked. I'm proud to say, this is the second car payment I ever had, and it was on both vehicles were cars that I actually wanted, bro. Mm. And this one, God, thank God, is actually better than my last one. So I'm, I'm actually happy about that, bro, to be honest with you. I actually got lucky, bro. I had a TC. I had a TC. I forgot what, what uh, I forgot what year it was, but I had a TC, and then um, I got into a car accident, right? So what happened was I turned onto a main street out of a neighborhood because I was working graveyard at the time. And I ain't going to lie, bro. I was scared. I thought I was going to get in trouble. I ran a red light, right? So yeah. I, I know this light usually doesn't, like, it never changes. You got to say that. That light literally for 10 Forever. minutes before it changes. Yeah. Bro, I look left. I look right. Nobody was coming. I said, fuck I said, it. I mean, We've that. all done it, bro. I mean, I mean, I, not I mean, proud of it. We've all done it, though. I mean, ain't nobody coming. I don't see no cops. Man, fuck I'm it, really man. looking out for this cops. Is I don't care nobody bro. coming. Ain't no one out there. It was like, it was like maybe, maybe 8 a.m. So then, you know. So I early said, enough. You know. So I just, I just hit that corner real quick. Bro, I started going down the road like this. Bro, not not like set. Man, I'd say I say ten or fifteen seconds after I made that turn, I just feel a car just boom from the back, like uh, bam out of nowhere just hit you. Yeah, damn, boom. bro. And bro, like I just feel, I feel the back of my head smack the seat. Bro, you know you got hit hard when that head cushion start feeling like the ground. All you heard was. Bro, and that My, minus the minus the sirens, My, yeah, the cops didn't come. You, you heard a lot, <laughs> bro. And the whole back bumper was gone. And then, bro, that the I remember I closed my eyes so tight I seen a white light. Like I thought I was gone. The gentleman came to my car, okay. And bro, first of all, bro's legs was like noodle legs, he, like he was dancing doing a stanky leg or something. <laughs> Like, bro, his legs is like, and he was leaning up against my car. I'm like, bro, don't play the victim. You hit me. <laughs> and they always do that. They teach you, don't ever admit guilt. <laughs> Man, bro, okay. But then I remembered I ran that light, so I was wondering if that's why he hit me. Mm. But then. But this was a few spaces down. This is Yeah, like, yeah. Like, I have, I was already. But he didn't know I ran that light, though. So I was, he thought I was going to bring it up. Hell no. But, um, so then, all this to say, bro, I had got lucky because the dude ended up. Now you were blessed. Hey, shout out to Armenians. If you ever get into a car accident, make sure it's an Armenian to hit you. Hey, bro, they got money plots. There's, there's a life hack. They sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. Let's hear the life bro, hack. There's a life hack. Get hit by an Armenian dude. Um, so then the dude money hit picks. me. Man, for, okay, look. He paid off the rest <clears throat> of the car, which is like $4,000. Wow. $4,000 or $5,000. Hey, now it don't sound like a lot because I'm paying for a car that costs like $20,000 still. So four or five thousand dollars, I'd be like, "Yeah, give me that." Yeah. But anyways, yeah, no, for sure. But back then, I was only getting paid like seven, seven hundred, and then so like you said, the car fees, you know, eating. All so, that shit adds up, man. So then, bro, paid that off cash. <sighs> bro, paid that off cash. Wow, so I got, yeah, bro, f- paid for the bumper to get fixed. He knew he had another Armenian dude that owned a uh, a shop. Bro, put a new bumper on there. What was the last thing, bro? Did, did you and then he do- gave me compensation money. He gave me that all just so we didn't go through the law. And I'm like, the law probably wouldn't have did all this for me in like a three-year span. So get hit by an Armenian person. Dang, moral of the story. Let, let Make sure that if you get in a car accident, make sure it's an Armenian that hits your ass. That was, that in, the uh, fuck, in the valley. <laughs> in the valley. It was after this is that? Damn. Bro, where'd you used to work? So I, 
I used to do uh, security, Stuff, yeah. but for North Hollywood in the Van Nuys area. That's where my girlfriend we used to live. Oh yeah, one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I forgot the area. Familiar with that area, yeah. yeah. Sun Valley or, or uh, not Sun Valley? It's a nice North, area, North Hollywood. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice area. Mm. North Hollywood. Oh, you know what? Well, not there's pockets. the main part was North Hollywood, but uh, that day that was the valley. Mm. But it was okay. a nice. It was a nice part though. Nice part of that. It is pockets. Yeah. There's, there's nice areas out there. No, no, for sure. Yeah. So now moving on to the to the next topic, responsibilities and pleasure. Mm. That's a that's tough. So responsibilities and pleasure, man, that has to go with, of course, becoming an adult. So the overall topic was obviously becoming an adult and the realities of it. So the reality of that is the responsibilities that come with it. But there is pleasure, yeah. right, that comes with it as well. So how do you think you balance those and how do you cope with them? I think um, I think we got to really understand the definition of pleasure because every time I hear pleasure, I think of a sin. But, uh, <laughs> you don't think of some like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're like some fantasies might come to mind. But uh, the I would say the definition. I had to look at one of the definitions right for pleasure. All right, what's up? It said used or intended for entertainment rather than business. So like you already know if you're doing entertainment, yeah. You're not doing business. That means you're kind of not working hard, which means you're not probably getting the bag, most likely. Well, yeah, I don't that's know. true. I'm no, not no, sure if true. you do both at the same time, but if you, I feel like if you're being pleasure, <laughs> then you're kind of like you're kind of taking a break from being serious or you know focusing on something that could really benefit you in the long run. If that makes sense. You're saying if if you're experiencing something pleasurable, you don't. Yeah, if you're if you're being pleased, like pleasured, or doing yeah. something that pleasures you, you're kind of in a. That's kind of like your fun time. And if you're in yeah. your fun time, you're yeah. not you're not working. Yeah, no, of course. You know, most people don't mix. Some people say they do, but don't mix business with pleasure. right? Yeah, for that reason, because you're kind of in a state of mind where you're relaxed, you're enjoying whatever it is that you're whatever the activity is. It always goes to the perverted way, bro. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be that way, but. Most because of us, when you think that way, that's, that's really how what they it associate is. it. Like, for example, the yeah. Bible says, like, um, you know, it refers to it like the pleasures of the world. Yeah. Which makes it seem like, oh, I'm not supposed to be doing that. Yeah. Puts it out that way for sure. You no, know? No, absolutely. Yeah. Or like, the pleasures got to do with the flesh. Like, that's not with the spirit. You know? Yeah. And then, and then you're supposed to be out of, you're way out of character or out of pleasure or you're out of, um, I want to say out of pocket. That's not the right word, but. You're not. You're not in the spirit. You're not in belief. You're not. You're not following doctrine, which isn't always a bad say. thing. Because like it's, it's it's not a sin to go to Six Flags. It's not. So yeah, yeah. exactly. Pleasure doesn't always necessarily need to be the pleasure that everybody else is probably thinking when they hear that word. You Hanging know? out with family. That's that's a pleasure. Oh, of course. There, you know, there's no. There's yeah. definitely a lot less perverted ways to describe the word. It's right. not just sex, bro, or sexual acts. You know what I'm saying? People, yeah. Most people. Most people integrate it with that, or not integrate, but most people, you know. Relate it with that, which that is a pleasure, obviously. Yeah, but it's not the only word. It's not what the word pleasure means. There's other pleasures. People get fat ass. People get pleasures in eating cake. You don't. I'm <laughs> no, just that's saying. a sin. That's, that's a sin. That's a sin. Uh, you're right. What oh, is fuck. that? Is that gluttony? gluttony. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Well, not really. It's gluttony if you overindulge. If you have a little uh, tiny piece, and you don't eat the whole fucking cake to yourself. But they're not gonna have a tiny piece. But <laughs> if, they, if they eat the whole, <laughs> if they eat the whole fucking cake, then yeah, that's gluttony, bro. You just eating it to eating it. You a fat fuck, but but the same thing with um lust, having too much sex or being a sex addict. That's also a sin. You know, maybe you want to put it that way. You know what? I, I think that's anything, also overdoing it. I whatever too you much give more time to than God, I think anything you give more time to or whatever you put above, because because uh, yeah, being in the gym that's healthy. But then like you know, is it a sin? You know, being in the gym seven hours a day, five hours that a day? is no, every right. day. I don't think so. I mean, if you're bettering, you're bettering the temple somehow. Yeah, I think the only way they can but what's become the, what's the intent behind it? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Why are you doing if it? Because you know, your, you want are you really? Yeah, is it really just for self image that you're full of yourself? You're yeah, conceited. Yeah, then then you're self loathing, and it just it, it can open the door to other shit. Absolutely, bro. Was that true? That I was talking about like you don't know why people like. You know the whole recording at the gym. Was that you? That, that was me. I said that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, real quick. You doing a quick sidebar? Or yeah, exactly. On a quick little side note, I'm gonna say sidebar because it's not really a story we're gonna tell right now. Uh, yeah, I was telling slideshow 
I never understood. And look, no disrespect to any of our viewers. I, I had to. I feel We're stepping like I, on toes today. I feel like I feel like I have to. I have to disclose that. I feel like I have to disclose that, bro. I do a lot of disclosures. I'm realizing that. And stepping no, on toes. Because we appreciate y'all, and some of y'all listening and watching might actually do what I'm about to talk about right now. So they all do it. <laughs> y'all all do it. I know it. <laughs> but and it's like just probably right. But I think that what I'm no what I was what I was trying to say <laughs> is that. There's a lot of individuals that I understand why some women do it. It could genuinely be because you want to see the growth in your body and, you know, they know that men are visual. So they want to do a lot of that, which we are. I'm not going to lie. But I realize that a lot of them, it's not just the women that do it. The men do it. I don't understand when the guys do it. I really Man, don't, bro. It's more tolerable for the female. It really is. Because yeah, we, we all know you're showing off your ass. Let's be real. You're showing off the goods. That's what you're fucking doing. That's why you're in the gym. You want to look more sexy and appealing to the opposite sex. Attention. That's me just being blunt or attention. So it's either bo- either one of those things or both of those things when it comes to women. I'm sorry. And yes, there are a few. Because then, bro, will you know, I genuinely mean they just want to see their their their? Because a lot, growth. you know, you know. For example, with the whole clothes thing, you know, when yeah. a lot of women say I can wear whatever I want, right? Yeah, and that's true. And then a boyfriend might say. Oh, why are you wearing that so revealing? And then yeah. the they'd be like, "Oh, who are you wearing it for?" Yeah. And then they'd be like, "Well, I'm wearing it for me to make myself look good, right?" Yeah. But then you know when they but you go know to the, the attention gym, that attracts when they go to the gym and then they start, Bruh. you know, that, exactly. it's contradicting. Yes, yeah, it's, it's contradicting when they do yeah. that. And there are some some females out there who do that. And I think that that's why women do it. When I don't understand why men are doing it. Let me. And the reason why I say that is because if you in the gym, bro, you don't need <laughs> you don't need to show the whole world that you're, you're putting in work. Just put in the fucking They'll work. They'll see it. Yeah. They'll see it. They'll see it in your jawline. They'll see you'll see that you you slimming up. Your pectorals are turning into pectoral muscles. Yeah. They're not titties anymore. Uh-huh. You, know, you get the point. I'm just saying, like, your your definition will show. You don't necessarily need to go on the camera and do it. I mean, if you want to do it before and after post, I mean a one single post, like once you've reached your goal after you were a fat ass and you were like, all right, that's how I'm not, I'm currently in the middle of that. I'm trying to lose weight. I'm actually down like a picture a month or a week. Exactly. Or I'm down eight pounds. <laughs> so shout out to myself. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not trying to toot my own horn either. I got a lot of work to do still. I'm not where I want to be by any means, but I, I'm not up there recording. Anybody who knows me that follows me and watches me on here knows I'm not constantly saying I'm at the gym. We're taking pictures, oh, right, recording myself. Right, right. And that's okay. Look, if y'all think I'm not at the gym, I don't give a fuck what you think. I know right. what I do. I know that I go three times a week. And y'all go see it. Exactly. And it's going to mm-hmm. show eventually. Mm-hmm. It's not overnight. But you know what? I haven't I started going vigorously, like actually routinely now. But it's like, it's, it's sticking to it and being consistent because consistency is everything. I'm sure it's like oh, yeah. agrees. That's the only way you're really going to see results. That and controlling what you eat. Man, that is the biggest part. Controlling what you eat, brother. That is the hardest thing to do. But for me personally, but when you control the intake, you're gonna see the output. You're gonna see the you're gonna see the, the, the results. Fig, at least faster than you would if you were just eating whatever you wanted. But anyway, you guys get the point. That's it. Bro, like the like the craziest things, bro, is like I remember one time man, I was I was I, I went to use the restroom in um the gym at Crunch. Okay. And then bro, I, I straight sit straight seeing like when I was washing my hands, it's like straight across is like the, the steam room. So I was <laughs> okay. looking at the steam room and then this dude came out like, and it, nigga wasn't even buff. Sorry for my language. <laughs> said that dude, wasn't, he wasn't even buff, but bro, okay. he picked it. First thing he did, bro, picked up his phone. He had his shirt off, and first like, <laughs> bro, was built like an apple, and then, bro, <laughs> he said, bro, built like an apple. <laughs> bro, what was the first thing he did? He picked up his phone. He pointed himself during, to to the mirror and started doing. The, the duck face And I'm the, like No he bro, did not The duck face Bro, bro the, the I thought that shit face. was retired He brought it back I walked out bro <laughs> He brought the duck face back bro, I walked oh, out Oh no dude. I walked Was this out. recently This was Nah this is maybe Maybe a month Two ago I, I, Hopefully bro Got that body He was flaunting for it Cause oh, I'm like Man Shout out to him <laughs> <laughs> Anyway that, that That's Man Anyway, so back to our topic. I don't really have much to say to that. Bro brought back one of the oldest, corniest fucking poses there was, bro. I mean, I understand when a woman does it, but when a man does it, bro. Yes, come on. I think even if a girl do it nowadays, that's played out. Oh, yeah, that was cute for that season. That was, uh, that was cute for that season, but that's gone. <laughs> 
I th- <laughs> it was, I guess, for that season, right? Bro, that's cringe. I cringed. Yeah, bro. Honestly, like, are we talking about managing it yet, or how to balance them? No, we're, well, we're we're saying right right now we're identifying what are the differences, responsibilities, responsibilities, and pleasures. What are the differences? The next part of that is how to balance them, which is how to manage how to manage them. Like you said, how to manage them, or AK, or the way I wrote it, how to balance them. I don't know, bro. Um, I don't know. I feel like I feel like you should you should enjoy as much as like as hard as you work. You know, yeah. You should enjoy just as much. Yeah. But I, I don't know, man. At the end of the day, I don't know. You you still got <laughs> mouth to feed. Yeah. And, you know. Those are the responsibilities. Yeah. So you have to find a balance. That's why I put how do you balance them. That's why yeah. I wrote them in my notes because you have to figure out a way how to balance them. And you know, everybody's responsibilities are different. I will say that every adult. Some adults never want to have kids. Some adults are like, why the fuck would you take that on? You know, I will say, mm. as challenging as it is, and I'm only beginning because my daughter's not even a year yet, it's a blessing, too. But just to see that, the, the gifts that I understand now, when people, when, when parents would tell me, oh, it was such a gift to raise a kid, I'm like, how the fuck is that a gift? And you just see them running and screaming, Yeah, huh? bro, and you're like, oh, but you only see the bad. You know what I'm saying? But when you're an actual parent, parent of a yeah, child, you see different. the good, it hits hey. different. Because you see the good and the bad. Yeah, there is yeah. a lot of good. In, there is a lot of good in there. Believe it or not, you parents out there will know what I'm talking about. Slash, will know one day. But you know, I, I do feel like <clears throat> it has its it has its rewards just as much as it does have its difficulties, which it does. I'll be lying to you off and tell you it's a cakewalk. Yeah, right. <laughs> but I feel like you know, I know a little bit though. You, yeah, because because I've I've heard you and I've heard somebody else reference the same thing. I said like I I, would, I always seen a parent and a child. And I'm like I'm like yo like. I don't think 10 years could pass and I'd be like, man, I still can't believe I got a child. But then I heard yeah. you saying it. You heard me saying it. <laughs> yeah. And then I heard somebody else say it and their baby's already about to be a year. That's correct. Well, see, that, yeah, that's normal for new parents, I think. But if, you're, if your kid's 10 years old and you're still saying, I can't believe it, motherfucker, you better wake up pretty soon, man. man. 10 years old, that kid's been around for 10 years. You better get used to it, man. You like, know, do you um, get used to it though? I, I mean, I think eventually, yeah. I mean, once you start to see them grow more, I think it's gonna trip me out even more when I start seeing her talk full sentences. Uh huh. That's probably gonna trip me out even more. I don't know why. I just feel All like right. back on what we were saying though. So you know, back to responsibilities and pleasure. How, how, man, how do we get off on this sidebar too? Damn, we're going sideways. We're going everywhere. Sidebar today. to sidebar. It's okay. It's okay. We we leave them in all the way. They're usually entertaining anyway. But um, you know, back to that responsibilities having a kid that. that it has its rewards for sure. It has its, you know, it has its follies. It has its um, hard points. Sometimes the hard points feel like they outweigh the rewards, but that's not always true either. You know, it's just, it's, it's always, it's different for everybody. And I think even raising a kid is different for everybody. Everybody has different methods of how they want to parent or what's the right way to parent or whatever you have you, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's a topic within itself. But as far as my responsibilities and pleasures, me and my girl still get our alone time, if you, if you know what I'm saying, okay? You know what I'm saying? We still make time for that because it's important. It needs to be present in a relationship, even when. So that's definitely a priority. It's, it's a pleasure, mm. but it definitely don't feel like a responsibility because it's not. It should be because that should be part of your relationship. It's healthy. But some people don't even do it, what, once a month? I'm sorry, I can't. That's too... <laughs> I'm just saying, man. man. I, that, thank God that's not my situation. I'm just saying for some that's people not, it is, though. I don't think... I like how you did it because some of them probably don't know what you mean by that once a month because you just threw it out there. But hey, yo, nah, I could not. Nah, I'm going to the grave. You know? Yeah, no, nah, that's yeah, no, no, no. It needs to be I'm, at least ninety six still popping them. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, bro. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's that's facts. <laughs> because you know, they're just speaking the truth here, man. Bottom line, what I'm trying to say is, and I'm sure Slideshow agrees with me, that when it comes to responsibilities and pleasure and how to balance them. I think the bottom line is to just prioritize them. Oh, yeah. make sure that you prioritize when you when you do prioritize them, you prioritize them in an order that makes sense, in an order that doesn't cause trauma or trouble to the other one. Does that make sense? It's the other yeah. priority. Mm-hmm. What were you gonna say? I would say, um, as far as my answer to the question of how to balance them, uh. responsibility and pleasure would be because uh, I was thinking about it, bro, like. Like, just think of your situation, okay? Like, you know, you live here, you got a daughter and a, you know, and a wife to take care of. And so, you know, there's a million things you could worry about. Refrigerator could break down. The uh, sink could stop working. The hot water could turn cold and, 
you know, just all to like millions of kind of things, but you don't sit and just, you know, just wait for it to happen. Yeah, no. You know, so I feel like, I feel like, I don't know, for, at least for a Christian man, like you, it's kind of like faith, man. Are you, like a Christian have the, should have the type of faith, you know, Jesus said to, you know, to go into the heaven, you got to be like one of these little kids. Like we've spoke on before, like, you know, a dad tell a kid, don't worry, I got it. Or a dad, you know, the dad told the kid, I'm Superman. I yeah. can do everything. Yeah. And the kid just run off with that. No type of questions asked. They just like, take you it. Should, yeah, you should know that God got you like value, that. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You should have that kind of faith. I agree. So I feel like, I feel like, you know, all that big stuff, not to say be oblivious to some things, you know, all that, all that stuff. But like, yeah, it's like, if you know, God got you, then, you know, you just do the, you know, the, the basics you got to do. Take care of your wife and your daughter, Yeah, you know, provide the food, you know, keep paying for the. God got the rest. Yeah. No, absolutely. And 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 then that's the kind of faith that he expects you to have. Because exactly. it's like if you really if you're really a faithful person and you claim that you do believe these things, right? Why would you why wouldn't you have it? Why would you why would you second guess it, right? Why would you worry? Why would you worry? Yeah. Why would you even that's what I was trying to say. You made it this far, yeah. Exactly. That's what I was trying to say. So why why would you worry? You say you claim you believe these things, right? Why does worry even there's no space for that? That can't exist in the same space. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, with that, you know, that pretty much wraps it. I think that that summarizes what we wanted to cover today and summarizes, I say it gives it a, a slight quick, but it gives it a good, you know, thorough, it gives it a good thorough explanation of what we wanted to cover today. And I feel like it's something that we all think about or at least kind of reflect back on in this case, you know what I'm saying? Thinking about when we first entered into adulthood and for all of our younger view- viewers that are out there, you'll know, you'll understand this a lot more when you get there, right? So I'm pretty sure you agree, man. Oh, and if you still in, uh, if you're getting ready to graduate, you can get slapped by uh, reality kind of hard. So just yes. be ready for that. I didn't have nobody tell me that. Just giving you a heads up because it's coming, y'all. Yeah, hundred percent. Not saying you can't handle it though. I think y'all be okay. I think Come y'all on. got this. Just be ready for trials and tribulation, though. Oh. <laughs> Come on. You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong about that one. Hello. It's coming, man. So just be ready for it. You know what I'm saying and. So before we wrap things up, I know the slideshow wanted to add in a topic that had nothing to do with what we discussed in this episode. So we'll go ahead and transition over to that. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. That was good. That <laughs> Just came out of a... <laughs> Got goosebumps. <laughs> you were saying though, bro? Okay. I was telling AJ a little bit about it earlier. If the individuals listen to this episode, they also know uh, we were talking about oh, it. Shit, sorry. Huh? Um, so we were talking. We I'm gonna give you guys two scenarios. If you guys watching or listening to the podcast, just think about the situation. You know, talk amongst who you're listening to it with, and then you know, you guys say what you would do. But okay, so my question for you is scenario one. And there's two. Okay. You're on a date with your girl, right? Whether okay. you want to imagine your girl now, because you might get two different reactions if you just yeah. think of a dummy. But um, okay, so you're on a date with your girl, and or somebody that you were talking to. You know, you got to start a date and first date, and the night was going good so far. You guys finally get to dinner, and it comes to the check. Like the dinner, everything's going good, and and it's because this is a video I've seen, so I'm just putting you in his place. And so the checks come, and first of all, your check is only this big, and then her check comes, and it's twice the size of yours. And the majority of that drinks, so. <laughs> man, yeah, well, whatever the case may be, and. Now you find out why you find out at this moment specifically. I don't know, but you find out that you're not getting what you thought you you're not getting that dessert you thought you was gonna get, and she ain't putting up. <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> man. Um. And this is right before you about to pay for the two checks, and Damn. you and you you just found out ain't no dessert. Oh man, do um. you still pay for the check, and do you still give her a ride home? Because the individual I was talking about didn't do either one. <laughs> so I'm going to take her out. Dang. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I wouldn't do none of that. Um, Honestly, fuck, that's tough, man. 
I don't know. I think you know what I, I think. I probably would just pay the bill and probably never talk to her again, man. Who? <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's a hey, bro. I mean, is that too cold? Mm. I don't know, man. It depends, bro. If I really like the girl, mm-hmm. if I actually saw a relationship with her, then maybe you know, maybe I would like you know, it's our first date. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. I don't want a whore, so fuck it. I mean, mm-hmm. hey, I think it depends on how you go into the date. Like, if you go into that date, but what if knowing you, you just want to fuck and that's uh, it, and you don't see any potential there, yeah. then you probably like, you know what? I'm never going to talk to establish that. I'm never huh? going to, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're supposed to establish I think that. so because it, you know what? You don't want a whore. You don't want a wife a whore. You know so what I'm saying? If, so, so what if, if, you if you don't out, put out the first date, that's not uh, a bad thing necessarily. Well, no, that's true. That's true. You know what I'm saying? What if you found out that, like, after all that, like, right there at the bill, you knew in a sense that. She like you basically got friend zone, so it's not even about this. The first date you just got oh, friend zone. Oh no, yeah. See, okay, so you're not even gonna have. Okay, I, I won't even pay the bill. He said, out. "Oh, so you're not eventually going nah, fuck that." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm gone, bitch. You gonna pay the bill? You my friend, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nah, man. I mean, I don't know, bro. I think that's tough, man. I would be disappointed, especially if you, like you're saying, like if you knew your attentions, mm-hmm. but then they flip it on you and they're like, "Oh, you good? Thanks, friend." Are you got it this time, right, friend? All oh, right, man. Oh no, bro. <laughs> what, what, what are you? Nah, girl, you played yourself. I need to, you know that's a new sound we're gonna put on here too. <laughs> Congratulations, you played yourself. Like that's how I feel like we go to that dude. Like you obviously had a different understanding of what was going on than that female did. Because if she thought you were going there as friends, man, nah, she knew. Oh no, see that's what I'm saying. Like she, yeah, she knew, knew it. How does she have a different understanding than you did? Then you fucked up for not really knowing what you had on going there. Unless unless you're one of them shy, timid ass motherfuckers that doesn't speak up for himself and doesn't make it known when he has feelings for a woman. Because I did. I, I didn't like. I didn't like that whole. Well, maybe she'll like me. No, dog. You need to make Man. sure you know. You know what I'm saying? Before you make it to, we're gonna go out on a date, or I'm gonna take you out to eat with me. Make sure that she knows your intentions. Do you agree with that? I feel like I had. I mean, I learned that. I completely agree. You know what the crazy thing is, bro? I think uh, it's true when they say great minds think alike. Yeah. You said exactly what I said. Really? Just now? But see, the thing <laughs> is, is like, I'm not the type. I'm not. I'm not the type of dude that would do that, though. I'm the type of guy, like you know. First of all, I invited you out. Yeah. So I'm gonna pay regardless. Yeah, same. But here. if it if it gets to that, it gets to that. But if it don't, I'm cool. not. I'm yeah, not. No. You know, that's not. I agree. Like you said, like the first night, like you, you know. wouldn't want that anyway. Yeah, she might be potentially someone you actually like that would want to have a relationship with. Dang. Would you really want to fuck her the first night? I mean, that doesn't mean that. Okay, I put this. I probably shouldn't say that it makes her a whore because there's plenty of good women that I know that would definitely fuck on the first night. I'm just saying. I'm not saying I, I'm the one that did it, but I know that there are some women out there that. Are probably really good wholesome women that have fucked on the first night. Yeah, that doesn't make them a whore. It's just Mm-mm. that's a new age of shit. I'm used to, even though I'm not that old. Well, what if they've been talking for a while, but they just haven't went on a date date? That's true. Exactly. Well, that's different then. I guess that's a little different. I mean, I think I think nowadays what I was trying to say is that yeah, nowadays I think it, the custom has changed a little bit. It's supposedly weird now if you don't fuck right away. <laughs> to say well, you know, right you see what i'm saying like it's not not true i mean i feel like that's the custom now back in the day it still happened but not as frequently as it would now i was gonna say but we both wrong anyways that is <laughs> we're both wrong anyways because we teach you false doctrine you're supposed to wait till marriage yeah you're right you know what i'm trying to say man i'm not no look, i'm saying that even though that's how it is nowadays that doesn't make it right okay and mm-hmm. god's law you're right. It just Slash make you a sorry in a God's cleaner law. sinner. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> in God's law, you're supposed to get married first. I didn't follow that. I know he didn't either. Sorry, guys. I know I didn't. You a virgin? You just listen to the, the, the how the thing finished. Um. <laughs> he said, "What you mean, me? Sinner, did you not <laughs> sinners are us? Oh, did I say me? Yeah. Who me? Yeah. Oh, see, I, I said I him know. and I. I was like him and I already followed that. Sorry, guys. You're like, what you mean, me? Oh yeah, like I'm like you a virgin? Got to victimize myself real quick. <laughs> you ain't no fucking virgin, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, so my next scenario for you. Okay. Still with the whole dating aspect, just a little different. Okay. Say you're walking down the beach with your girl. Okay. Um. You know, sunset vibes. Uh, sunset about to go in the night. You guys are just strolling down the um the little Santa Monica Pier. And you see a guy that's like, you know, decent height, little build on him. Yeah. And you guys walk past him. All of a sudden, you just hear it. 
and you, and you see a girl do a little jump, like she's my like girlfriend. Just pushed her. Yeah, this is my girlfriend. Yeah, and dude, just watch it, y'all. Seeing what you're gonna do. If this was Texas, but we in California, so <laughs> Sad. so no, I'm just kidding. No, I wouldn't kill nobody over that. But I mean, I would probably get in a. I would definitely get into a verbal altercation for sure. If it got physical, then fuck it. It got physical. Depending on my mood, I might just hit him in the face. Turn hey, around. You know what? Not even give him a chance to talk. What? Well, what you? Mid, 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 mid conversation. Boom, bro. Like, I don't got something. I got. What was there to say to that? You know what the fuck you just did? What's there to say to that? This is a high headed AJ talking right now. My high headed ass probably would just clock him in the face without even thinking. Or, um, mm. I, I mean. Honestly, I would probably get for sure, for sure, I would get into a, 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 a verbal conversation. That's, that's for sure. a given. Yeah. But um, after that, if it escalated to physical, I definitely wouldn't back down, and I probably would hit him in the face if he didn't try to swing at me already first. Technically, technically, he could be looking at sexual harassment yep. and assault because he did hit her. Yeah. So that's already two charges. And you so want to go legal route? And route, you could say absolutely. self-defense. You, you could do that. You could absolutely do that. That's, that's, that's what that is. So that's three, that's three different offenses right there. You fuck, sir. You slapped the wrong ass today. <laughs> Bro, you know what? When, when we were talking about this scenario early in the morning, one of the things I told them was, um, you know, a lot of those people, they like to, oh, well, you better not do it a second time because I'll really get you. Like, or fuck take the, that. Or take yeah, the no, first they, hit. They ain't never or man. take the first hit. Like, come I, on, just swing on me. Man, you ain't going to do man. shit. Like, you got two people, people like, about to kiss, just <laughs> do it. Dude, take the first hit. You're not going to do it, fool. You might not get up from that first hit. <laughs> That's a fact, bro. You don't want to give me that opportunity. Don't tempt me with a good time, bro. Not to do my own horn. See, but I know I'm not the most toughest in the world, but I'll tell you what, man. I'll definitely leave, I'll leave you a couple of remem- to remember me by. A couple uh-huh. of haymakers. I might not lay you out for good, but Ain't gonna be I'm going to defend that. myself, bro. Ain't going to be none of that. I, feel, I just, in that scenario, see, look. Match energy with energy, right? Yeah. If if he just if he just turn around, damn, she got you know. Yeah. Then you know you, you, you could you could maybe walk that yeah. off depending yeah. on how high you know she didn't, he, you didn't touch me or her. But it's like the 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 male inside you, man. The 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 fucking testosterone boiling within you. See, because then you swing on them just because the officer's going. What if the officer like I was licking at her too when I got out the car? You gonna hit me? Yeah. You know what? But I mean, looking at her is different though. Slapping her ass and be like, just no, saying but something. that's why. See now that now you didn't you didn't touch you didn't touch something that was mine. I married to her. That's what I'm saying. You yeah. know, that's, that's different. I'm not. Well, yeah, that's three different charges. You could get it. You can fuck him up and then call the cops. Yeah, that's true. Like he hit my girl or he sexually assaulted <laughs> my girl. <laughs> we we have problems now. That's what I'm like, both of y'all stomping them out while the cops roll them up. Basically, yeah, no, 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 for sure. See, that's I think that would be the only time I'd. Rev- I could I could take if somebody hit me. I could walk that off, but like if it's your child, your mom, your sister, your brother, oh no, aunt, uncle, no, nah, I draw the line there. That's nah. what I'm saying. You hit a loved one that hit different. Oh no, hell yeah, that hits way different, bro. We we ain't doing that. Someone's getting fucked up now. That's what I'm saying. No, no, no I feel it. Don't that's we what fight, I'm saying. We fighting, bro. That's not gonna. Nah. So I know, I, I know, I always protest peace, but that's different. <laughs> if they hit me, I'd let them slide with it, but. Nah, someone yeah, nah. I love though, I feel you on that one. Mm-hmm. You might you might have crossed the line. Cause then. then, cause then, if your girl's not really understanding or religious like you are, and the whole, the whole turn the other cheek thing, then she might look like, oh, she he probably can't defend me. Then, yeah, you know, yeah, no, 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 that that you're right. No, you're right. You might send the wrong message to your girl if you do all that. That is a hundred percent factual. All right, that's the truth, bro. Mm. You don't want to do that. No, nah, hell no. See, so man. it is a man. It just, I think yeah. it's just at bottom line. It probably depends on the the situation and how it's unfolding. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Ultimately, did you agree? Yeah, because yeah. if he says something, depending on what he say, because if he just damn, you can work that off. But if he <laughs> like, all right, I'm gonna be looking for you, like, yeah, bro. What nah. you mean by that? What you, you better be clear, bro. Don't walk away now, motherfucker. Now after saying some shit like that, huh? ten nine? The what? Huh? <laughs> ten nine? You about to be ten six right now, bro? What ten <laughs> nine? Ten nine? Nah, but, but yeah, you know, think about that, y'all. You know, now that we answered those scenarios that Slideshow came up with right now, we're going to leave it up to y'all. And how would y'all react to those scenarios? Okay. So think that and go over them one more time for them Slideshow before I wrap it up here, whatever. So I'm going to give them these uh, last announcements. First scenario, if you're on a date and, you know, this could go for women too. The gentleman don't want to pay for your dinner because he found out you're not giving up the, the goods. goodies or the goodies. whatever the case may be. <laughs> and he says, uh, you got to pay your own bill. 
and you got to find right on. Well, <laughs> I, I feel like even though it's messed up, I feel like that's God's sign. You know, get on. It might need to be the. It right? might be. The, it might be the last interaction you want to have with that individual. And I was gonna say, gentlemen, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. Y'all better than that. Yeah, don't, don't. But the, the second scenario is, um, if y'all walking down the beach or you know alley somewhere quiet or whatever the case may be, and then uh, you know, gentlemen, uh, good build. You know, kind of strong. Just slap your girl on the behind, and just staring at you. Like, what you gonna do next? Balls in your court. Debate that with your homies and with your homegirls and with your with your girls and with your dudes. Or they probably arguing like. with their significant other right now. They probably are. Sorry if we started an argument for y'all. Say, hey, babe, this <laughs> why I need to get in the gym. <laughs> what you mean? This is why you gotta get in there and you gotta you gotta defend my honor, motherfucker. Anyway, so we'll debate that, y'all. You know what I'm saying? If you want, leave it in the comments below with your, with your response. Please do. Yep. Be interactive with this episode, this visual on YouTube. Huh? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and leave us a comment down there and let us know how you guys would react to those two scenarios. Come on, let's make this a little interesting. We will respond to them. Sure. Right, slideshow, we will respond to them. Yeah. But anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. Just, you know, kind of a quick reminder since this is season two, episode one. Thank you guys again for being here with us. You know what I'm saying? We do appreciate every single one of your guys' ears and your eyeballs. If you listen to and watch the show. A little, little applause for y'all, which that's a new sound effect, by the way. So we just, which by the way, we're gonna we're gonna have new sound effects coming as well. They just, we we showed you guys a few of them, yeah. but there's more coming. Uh, but real quick to kind of go over, we go over at, uh, in the beginning of season one as well. We are on every directory. For those that don't know, we're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, uh, TuneIn, Alexa, Podcast Addict, Podchaser. Pocket Casts, Deezer, Listen Notes, Player FM, Podcast Index, Overcast, Castro, Castbox, and Podfriend. The only hater we have, Pandora. Oh, still? Dang. They're still reviewing our show to see if we're we can be on the platform. Jeez. Oh, they get they get two. Pandora used to be famous back in the day. I guess, yeah. But yeah. it's funny because, you know, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, the big three already approved us. Right. And they're streaming us actively. But fucking Pandora's like, nope. Even iHeartRadio showed us some love. And I had to put that we were explicit on there because we cuss and talk about inappropriate things or what's considered inappropriate things sometimes. Yeah. But they even approved us. Gosh damn it. iHeartRadio even got, got hearts for us. Come on. Pandora don't though. Eventually... We're still pending with them, so I don't know what's going to happen. But eventually, we'll be on Pandora, too. But you know what's crazy with the views? What's up? I've seen that a lot of the views is coming from Los Angeles. Really? Did you? Yeah. I didn't know that. Did yeah. You look at it? You, can look, you have access to this, too. No, so. no, no. That, that's how I've seen it. That's crazy. A lot of them is coming. I didn't know that. I think it said most is coming from Los Angeles. Yeah, this, you know, shout out to Buzzsprout, because they, their stats, man, they they break it down pretty good over here, bro. You know you know exactly where they're coming yeah, from. Yeah, everything, yeah. What percentage of who uses what the most. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, man. They break it down for you, for sure. Um, Yeah, man. So, they're actually projecting that our last episode, 45 downloads within five days. We'll see if that's true. Hopefully, that's the case. We appreciate you guys, though. Eventually, we're going to keep pushing things here and keep... Moving them all up. Uh, I know in season one, we did talk about merchandise. That did kind of get put on the back burner just a little bit because we got our money and other things right now. Right, Slideshow? We got some other things that we're moving around, other pieces that yeah. we're moving. But that's coming soon. I don't want to give you guys a definitive date just yet, but before the end of the season, you will know for sure when we're having merch. Yep. Timeless, timeless talk merch. Timeless Empire is a separate entity. You guys know that there's two logos behind us. Mm -hmm. One logo is for the clothing line, and then one logo is for this, you know, our, our platform here. We're going to have merchandise for the clothing line dropping this year, and then we're going to do our best to get before that, before the fall, and we're going to try to get at least hats to you guys. Yeah. We'll reveal that much. We'll let you guys know we're at least going to have hats available to you guys pretty soon here. Mm -hmm. Snapbacks and the and the slide adjusters, right? What are those called? Slideshow? The, we're going to call them slide adjusters from Slideshow. I think it's the straps. The strap. Get the strap. Get the strap, bro. Again, we, we, we don't necessarily mean this strap. We, we, we mean the other strap, not that one. We're going to get you ones that you can rock on your heads, okay? You don't have to kill nobody, y'all. Don't be all, don't be that intense, all right? I was just about to get canceled. <laughs> I was going to say something stupid. No, nah, go ahead and say it. I was going to say, bro, every time I hear it, get the strap, I think about, like, what the dykes wear to. <laughs> <laughs> he said he thinks of the strap on. Bro, he said, we're fucking explicit. We could just leave that shit in there, bro. But anyway, y'all, uh, we appreciate you guys, man, and, um, you know, 
<laughs> yeah, we appreciate you guys' this time, man. You know, we appreciate you guys rocking with us. We're back now. So every Friday, well, that's the one thing I wanted to add too before we get to our last. Is there anything? Is there anything lastly you want to put in there? Get into entrepreneurship like AJ over here. You know, got all this going bro. on. It's eventually going to come back into his pockets or get back into college. That. Yes. I'm going back into college for something that seemed impossible, but we're going to get it. Yeah, we are one way or another, and we hope that we can be an inspiration for you guys. I'm not saying that we got to be the reason for it, but I hope that we at least push you in that direction if you haven't already started walking yep. in that yep. direction. Mm-hmm. And if you want to stay and you want to move up in the corporation that you're already in, that's okay too. We all have different passions and we all have different drives. So if that drives you, by all means, follow that as hard as you can. Right with all with all with all that you got inside you, man. Whether that means building your own company or moving up in the company that you're already in, mm-hmm. more power to you either way, guys. Well, with all that being said, this has been Timeless Talk. God bless you guys. Mm-hmm.